What's up, everybody? My name is Blue Drake, and I want to make this video just to really get things moving. Before we even start, I want to say, if you guys could, I have another YouTube channel that I would really like you guys to subscribe to. The link is down in the description, where you can really click up here in the video as well. And it's not just a second channel of mine, it's the YouTube channel for the game that I'm working on. Now, I know a lot of you guys already know about the game that I've been developing with our community, but assuming that there might still be some people who don't know, a while back, I decided that I really just wanted to make my own tactical shooter. There's a lot of other tactical shooters out there that either don't really do what I want them to do, or, even worse, they kind of change over time and get worse. So even though there might be some games that I like when they launch, after a couple of years and they slowly start putting in a whole bunch of microtransactions and changing the game entirely, I, it's not even the game that I wanted to play anymore. So I really just decided that I wanted to get together with a group of our community members and make our own. And the game that you're looking at right now is that game. And the YouTube channel that I would really like it if you guys subscribe to that's linked down in the description is the YouTube channel for this game. And I have to be honest with you guys, as this game continues to make more and more progress and get bigger and bigger, this is going to start becoming a big focus for my career. We have been developing this project for years, and now, on March 30th, we're actually going to be releasing the first free version of the game, which is the single-player demo. And that's actually what I'm playing right now. This, this is actually all single-player. The game has multiplayer and cooperative modes as well, but one of the things that I wanted to do was have a really strong single-player component that also continues improving. I've been working with a whole bunch of our community members, doing voice lines for the game. Uh, some of them I did myself, in addition to people from all over the world who voiced all of the different NPCs and characters. And I don't know, hopefully over time we could even have storyline-driven campaign modes in the game. I mean, the sky is the limit when our own community is finally developing our own game and we can make it how we want. Now, another thing is that this game is going to have all of the different theaters of war. This isn't a Cold War game. This isn't a World War II game. This isn't a modern shooter. This is a tactical shooter, and it's a platform for us to really do whatever we want. If we want to make a Vietnam game mode, if we want to make a World War II game mode, we can do it. We can do whatever we want. That's really exciting to me, and hopefully it's really exciting for you as well. So, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. This is something that I'm probably going to be talking about more and more. And with the launch coming up and the project finally getting to a point where it's stable and fun, I'm probably going to be talking about this a lot. I really believe in this game. I really believe in this project. I work a lot on it, and I put a lot of myself into this project. And hopefully, if you really want to support me, there's three ways that you can really make a difference. First, go subscribe to that YouTube channel for Operation Harsh Doorstop. Second, if you want to support us and get a Steam key to the game, you can go to our Patreon, support me there. Hey, if you like my videos, just look at it like a Twitch subscription. $5 a month not only helps support, you know, me, I guess, but also this entire vision, which is more important to me than anything. And lastly, if you really want to help out, go and sign up on the website, OperationHarshDoorStop.com. I will have that linked down in the description. And the reason signing up on the website is going to be so important is because one of the biggest features about this game that is really important to me is that this game is going to have full mod support. Eventually, I want to implement full-blown Steam Workshop support where you can have servers that automatically download mods so you can join any server and have a completely different modified experience no matter where you go but for the time being you can actually upload your mods to the operation harsh doorstop website you can share your modifications there you can download the sdk you can quite directly help us with development Honestly, the only way that we really hire developers anymore is the people who make the best mods for Operation Harsh Doorstop. We give them jobs, and that's been working out really, really well. And as time goes on, I'm probably going to be pushing this and talking about it more and more. Because I got to be honest, even though I make videos about all sorts of other stuff, this is like... 90% of what I think about. Not to say that I'm going to stop covering other games or doing videos about other content on my channel, but 
this game, Operation Harsh Doorstop, like, this is my mission in life, is to make this. I, I want to make something that all of you guys can enjoy. I feel like we've been sitting here watching the industry, knowing exactly the kind of game that we would want to play, and realizing that nobody wants to make it, for whatever reason. I mean, maybe it's because making the best game, as far as we're concerned, doesn't make money for big companies. I, I have no idea. I don't really care. All I know is that we have an opportunity right here, right now, to make our own game exactly the way we want it. And if you can go subscribe to that channel, go support me and this project on Patreon, and go sign up on our website, that's going to be the first step. I'm going to be really excited here in the coming weeks. I'm going to show you guys some pretty amazing things. And again, this is just the beginning. We haven't even started yet. There's so many features that I still want to implement. There's so many things that I want to do. Drivable vehicles, constructible fortifications, new theaters of war, more weapons, aircraft, I don't know, naval ships, anything, all of it, whatever. But the only way we can make that possible is with your support. You guys have supported me so much so far and you've gotten us so far already and I wanted to show you all exactly how much we have achieved and on March 30th we're going to release the first version of this game that's going to be open to everybody and everyone will be able to get their hands on it and and I hope everybody will be impressed and I hope everybody will feel even more strongly about supporting us so we can take this even further so thanks so much for watching Hopefully you guys enjoy this project. Hopefully you guys still enjoy all of the videos that I do and all of the things that we've been doing here. And I hope you're impressed with our work. Make sure you go click those links in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, as always, Blue Drake loves you, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.